Hello friend! This is a tutorial that will show you how to make your own star wipes in the same style as in Steven Universe. This tutorial uses Vegas Pro, but it should be fairly simple to translate to any other video editor you're already familiar with. I do show a screenshot of how to do the main part of the effect in Adobe Premiere, so that might help some people out. As well as your video editor, you'll need a few assets that I've made available in a mega folder, which is linked in the description. To start off, you'll need a project open in Vegas Pro with whatever video or image you want the star wipe over, ready to edit. Here, I'm using a clip from Monster Buddies. I'm going to put a few markers down where I want the star wipe to happen. For this example, I'm going to do the kind of wipe that shrinks a bit, then holds for a few seconds before shrinking down to nothing. Now, you'll need to create a few more tracks on your timeline. On mine, I've labeled them Star Wipe Star, Star Wipe Video, Pop Video, and Pop Audio. Set the Star Wipe Video Tracks blending mode to Multiply Mask, and press the Make Compositing Child button on the Star Wipe Star track. Snip out the part of your clip you want to put the Star Wipe over, and move it up to the Star Wipe Video track. Now, in the mega folder I've linked, go to the Star PNGs folder and choose a star to use for the wipe. These are high resolution PNGs traced from the stars used in real Steven Universe star wipes. Place the star PNG on the timeline on the Star Wipe Star video track so it takes up the same length as the video you want to wipe. Also, choose a star pop animation from the pop videos folder and place it on your pop video track at the end of the clip you want to wipe. One more asset you'll need is the sound effect or effects. I've provided a few versions in the folder depending on what you need. There are separate ones for half fades that pause in the middle, which is what I'm going to do for this example. Other ones I've included are the full shrinking sound with and without a pop, and the pop sound on its own. So, I'm going to place the sound effect Shrink Half 1, where I want the first half of the wipe to go, and then Shrink Half 2 Pop, where I want the wipe to finish. You can adjust the length of these clips slightly by holding Ctrl and dragging out one of the ends, but if you stretch them too much they will become distorted and unrecognisable. Now that all the important assets are placed on the timeline, we can animate the star's position, size and rotation. Because of the multiply effect on the main video, when it overlaps the white star PNG, only the white pixels take on the colour of the video. The rest of the frame is blacked out. So, I'm going to use the track motion window for the star wipe star track, which you can find here. Now I'll place some position keyframes where I placed the markers earlier. Since I want this to shrink down a bit first, and then shrink from there to nothing, I'm going to set the keyframe at this point so that the star is focused tightly on Amethyst's face. Then I create another keyframe over here where I want the wipe to continue. This keyframe should be the same as the last, so there's no need to change anything. For the final keyframe over here, I want the star to rotate and shrink down to nothing. I'll set the angle to 90 degrees and then manually resize the track so it looks very small. Judge it by eye on your little preview window. Play back what you've done if you want to make sure it looks good. Here's what I've got so far. Finally, I need to go to the first keyframe where the star initially appears. I'm going to rotate it in the opposite direction to the way I did the final keyframe, so I'm using minus 90 degrees. As well as that, you need to resize the track to make it so big that you can't see any of the black background. That's basically the entire effect. Here's what my finished star wipe looks like.
You can of course mess around with these settings, use different stars, make your own stars if you like, change the position of the star at the same time that it's resizing. For another little example, look what I did here. The star starts off big to the right of the frame, then shrinks and meets Stephen's gem over on the other side of the video. When you wipe on something that's not directly in the center, you will have to move the pop video track with the track motion as well. It should be easy to figure out and customize if you have a basic grasp of the video editor. Just one more thing, if you're trying to do this in Adobe Premiere, here's a little screenshot of my setup that gives the same effect as here. Multiply blending on the video track, normal on the star below, but then a pure black video track at the bottom. The multiply blending doesn't seem to work the same way unless there's black behind it to contrast against. You should be able to work out similar positioning and resizing for the star track if you're already used to Premiere. Thanks for watching this little tutorial. I hope it was of some help to someone. Um, remember to press all the happy YouTube buttons and I hope to see you another time. Love you, bye bye.